First time we've ever had a chance to interview you and talk about the win, which I said, and I think everybody will agree, the biggest win of your career. Congratulations on that. What a moment here on Dynamite. That boy, Tone, hang in there. Ah, here we go. I was kind of waiting to hear what Orange had to say. I guess he only speaks in debates. I don't know. Well, I would say perhaps that business is picking up. That's what I wanted to hear, JR, because here comes the demo god, La Champion, or Lee Champion, whatever it is, it's Jericho. Congratulations, Orange Cassidy, for beating me last week on Dynamite. Oh, what a gentleman. I mean, it's pretty rare that I get beaten in AEW. As a matter of fact, I've only been pinned three times since October 2nd, 2019, our very first show. And one of those times was last week to you, the guy who puts his hands in his pockets. And, and while that might seem embarrassing on the surface, and I am embarrassed to an extent, deep down inside, I'm actually proud of you, Orange. I'm proud of you because you prove that you're learning from me and you prove to all your haters and critics that you have exactly what they said you don't have. Heart and desire and courage and what it takes to be a main event superstar here in AEW and you have proven that and for that I applaud you. Jericho taking a high road, I love it. As a gentleman. matter of fact, Orange, I want to give you a toast right now. But before I do that, there's something that's stuck in my craw here, and that's this. As it stands now, you have one win over me. I have one win over you. And where I come from, that tells me we need to have a third match to find out who the better man really is, right? Am I right? And, 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 and we can have this rubber match in that ring, but we've done that twice already, and we've done it well. So I wanted to take things to a different level. And considering that I'm the genius who came up with, with one of the greatest gimmick matches of all time involving a briefcase and a ladder, I wanted to do something special. So I have an idea based on us. You're all about the orange juice, and all my, I'm all about the bubbly, so... It makes sense that we have this rubber match and find out who the better man really is in my new creation, the Mimosa Mayhem match. Ho, ho, ho. I love it. Mimosa Mayhem match. Now, you might wonder what Mimosa Mayhem is, and maybe this can answer your questions. On Saturday, September 5th, Revenge will be served freshly squeezed in the first ever Mimosa Mayhem Match. What will happen when 80 gallons of 100% pure orange juice is mixed at ringside with 500 cases of a little bit of the bubbly? And the only way to win is by pinfall, submission, or being thrown into a tank of straight mimosa. The mastermind himself has done it again. The demo god of AEW wrestling, Chris Jericho, proudly presents the Mimosa Mayhem match. You'll have to see it to believe it. So there you go, Orange. Mimosa Mayhem, never been seen before. Only way to win, pinfall, submission, or by throwing each other into an 80-gallon vat of orange juice and bubbly. That's what I call a money-making match, Orange. The world is going to want to see it for the first time ever. So, I ask you this. On September 5th, at All Out, do you accept the challenge? Jericho versus Cassidy 3 in a Mimosa Mayhem match. Huh? Do you accept? Well, there it is. A rousing thumbs up. 
Guess that makes it official. Oh, September 5th, can't wait. How smart is Jericho? I think you made the right decision, Orange, and now I would like to give you a toast. But of course, I want the rest of my friends to be out to toast you together. The whole inner circle. You deserve to hear it from us and see it from us face to face. Come on out, boys. There you go. Straight gentleman here, JR. Yeah, something don't smell right, Taz. Oh. It's okay, Tony. We're just gonna toast. You don't want to be rude, right? Come on up on the apron, guys. Let's toast these guys. Come on up. You ready? Orange Cassidy, here's to ya. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. Oh, buddy. Tony, get out of there. Best friends are there trying to watch the back of Orange Cassidy, but they're outnumbered by the inner circle. Wow, what the hell is. Look at that. Oh, oh, that double leg slam. To think that inner circle is going to have a toast. Did we buy that? I, I, I was kind of following along there. I thought it was. For a second, he had me, but look at that. Oh, Judas, yeah, Judas effect right there in the face of Orange Cassidy by Jericho. He's out. Look at, look at Orange Cassidy's eyes. Far away look in his eye. And no Orange Cassidy. Oh, well, what's, what's Santana got in that backpack? Oh, my God. Orange Cassidy's upside down in a circle. Oh, the water bubbly. Pouring the, the champagne over Orange Cassidy. It's like, you ever have champagne pouring in your eyes? No, no, no that, that's horrible. Assuming that burns like hell, I can see how red his face is. Giovanni, you all right? You look thirsty. Thirsty. Oh. You look thirsty. He's a little shook. But yeah, look at that. Just all right. Okay, that's enough. Are there any referees here? How about a hall monitor? Anybody?